What's up guys, ABC Matt here, um, Happy New Year, um, you know, it's, I've been in a little hiatus with uh, family stuff and being under the weather and stuff like that and you know the whole um, Omicron stuff that's going on so a lot of stuff going on um, but I wanted to make this video sort of like um, a hodgepodge of various things. Um, I have very few in the mail day, but I'll show you that in a bit, three of them. And then I wanted to discuss more about Fanatics um, buying tops and what that whole ordeal is. <clears throat> so um, let's start with the uh, mail day. The first thing I got is this 2011 Leaf Cut Signature Edition. Um, it has Alex Trebek and in the back it has Betty White. RIP to these two sports, I mean, these two TV personality icons. Um, you know, Trebek in Jeopardy. You know, Betty White does a lot of different things, um, but she's probably more well known for Golden Girls. Uh, she recently passed away. So both of them passed away actually, so RIP for both of them. This is something I'll keep for myself because um, one, I watch Jeopardy a lot. And I just um, did a movie, well, TV marathon watching some Golden Girls. Uh, she cracks me up. So this is something I'll keep for myself. The second thing is 2001 Pokemon Black Star Mischievous Promo Pokemon League. Um, this one I got um, in an auction and it's you know pretty old 2001 it's something I probably will flip um, so that's that and then something else I want to keep for myself is this 1994 upper deck uh, jump man so these came in a tin um, and you know who doesn't know that pose from Michael Jordan you know Michael Jordan is a sport icon he's basically the logo of NBA well Jerry West is, but I mean Jordan would be the next one you would think, right? <laughs> but anyway, um, I wanted one. I didn't care. I wanted at least a seven point oh or above, so I got seven point five. It's a postal card, so that's how it looks. Like I said, it came in a tin. You got various players in there, but you know, most notably Michael Jordan. So that's something I'll keep for myself. All right, those are my three mail days. Um, now let's talk about tops and fanatics. So um, recently on ESPN by um, Dan Hudaki, uh, probably pronounced this butchering his name a little bit, um, but he said global sport retail merchandiser and now sports card and memorabilia giant fanatics has acquired tops trading cards. Um, the deal includes tops collectible arms, both physical and digital. The value of the deal is five hundred million. So I'll put the article up so you could see it. Um, so you might ask, some of you guys might ask, like, what is, uh, what are they doing? What are, what their intentions are? Um, I think that they're gonna go the NFT route. They're gonna say, hey, you know, NFT is the is the buzz. Uh, we're gonna go move forward with that so for the people who don't know what NFT is NFT stands for non-fungible token It's a way of proving that a digital item is the only one of a kind in this existence and therefore cannot be copied or reproduced by the owner knowledge and consent The NFT can be considered modern-day collectible They bought and sold online and represent a digital proof of ownership of any given item so in the sports world, we call that blockchain. You know, you know how you used to get redemptions in boxes, and you had to redeem them. So Panini has a thing called blockchain, and it's basically like a filler card, just like a redemption. And it says you could download the card, and the digital copy is yours, yours to keep. For me personally. NFT, I don't, I don't like it 
because one you don't actually physically hold a card like this you know you're holding a virtual card in your in your hand electronically so I think is BS um, that goes for like crypto and other currencies like that you know dogecoin I'm like, I don't agree with it I'm call me old school but I rather physically hold something to know it's mine not some digital copy but um, yeah that that's gonna be amazing and scary at the same time that top, tops is gonna be owned by fanatics um, you know would that mean that the redemptions car redemption would be faster probably not but you know we'll see how it goes I don't want to see fanatics making a whole monopoly in the card market because then the price is going to be even more extraordinary so let me know what you think what you think of my mail day what do you think of this whole fanatics tops thing and let me know all right talk to you later bye